Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling and texturing a toll booth in 3ds Max. So definitely will be side by side will be continuing with the interior tutorial simultaneously. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's open a reference of a toll booth, of, toll booth over here. So let's go into the desktop. I have saved some references so let's take some references over here so I have one reference over here so let's model this I have few more references I'll take one more reference so this is a better reference so how we can start up over here is like so let's take a plane over here so very first of all what we'll be doing over here is like we'll be subdividing this elements over here either you can use this or either you can use this that is one and the same so I'll go on to the top view over here I'll just scale this like this I'll go over here I'll take a rectangle over here convert to editable spline I'll go into the vertices and I'll use a bit of fillet over here. I'll go into this and I'll give a extrude modifier. So let's just give a extrude modifier over here for this stuff. So select this convert to editable poly before I convert it I'll just make the segments as 2, 2 over here I'll go into this editable poly and I'll just slightly shift this over here select this I'll slightly push this over here now over here if you look at it closely over here I have two references for now again I'll move further I leave some space over here again I'll go over here I'll go into the top view and again I'll take a rectangle over here like this so convert to editable spline vertices select this and let's give a bit of fillet again over here and let's give a extrude modifier so what I'll do over here is now like I'll increase its size over here again take this take a copy of it let's go over here into the side view over here let's take a line tool over here so go into the vertices and give it a fillet and I'll go into this rendering enabling viewport and I'll increase its thickness of it over here so I'll definitely place it in this way I'll select this I'll just duplicate it 
in this way. So just keep on duplicating this. So I'll make few copies of it. So I'll go again into this. I'll slightly just push it. Okay. After that, I'll again select this section over here. I'll slightly push it more further. Again, now what I'll do over here is like, I'll take a copy of it. So let's just take a copy of it over here. After that, let's go into this top view over here. Let's just take a box over here. So create a box. So increase its height. So I'll just increase its height over here for this particular box. So convert to editable poly and I'll give few details over here. I'll add three connects. I'll slightly just push it more closer. I'll push it up. So I'll select this edges, slightly I'll scale it a bit inside. So now what I'll do, I'll just save the file first over here. So let's just save the file. I'll take make a new folder. All right. So definitely the smaller details will be definitely creating that. After that, I'll go over here. I'll slightly shuffle this over here. We have a small kind of a pipe also over here. So I'll off this like this. Select this vertices. Let's give again a bit of fillet. and enable in viewport so increase its thickness like this after that I'll take a line over here. So let's just take a line. Enable in viewport just off the and we have one modifier over here that's called a sweep modifier. So let's just use a sweep modifier and let's make it as a T section over here. Reduce this length width part that's it so I'll put it over here in this way I'll go into the vertices I'll slightly shuffle this up So okay guys, so if you have any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.